So the last couple of weeks, we've had nothing but wet, miserable weather, especially in my area. Um, it's just not stopped. It's uh, every day has been totally miserable. I must be honest, we were fairly lucky throughout the start of the summer. So sort of May, June, and most of July were really, really good, nice dry weather. But August, like the end of July and August, uh, it's just been blooming miserable. Uh, it's not just wet; it's cold as well. I think it's like 12 degrees in my area at the minute. And it's um, a bit soul destroying. I try and do what I can. I have done a, a job this morning. Yesterday was wet uh, most of the day. I managed to do three jobs yesterday, so I am managing to do bits and pieces, but it's annoying because I'm so busy at the minute. I've got a lot of work on, and um, yeah, just the weather's not, not playing ball. You know, you can get wet and that, but um, at the end of the day, it, tends to just make more mess than anything you know some of the lawns I've gone to uh, one of the lawns yesterday I went to was fairly long I mean the grass was sort of that long and I managed to get it down but I mean it was only a small lawn but even then it just made such a mess to do it um, but what do you do I mean do you leave it to the next visit or so for example this week I've been asked to do an extra visit for a customer because they have a garden party at the weekend which I can't see how it's going to happen because the weather's just so miserable um, but there's no way I can get to them to, for an extra visit because I'm struggling to get to all the people I've got already so uh, I'm going to have to give them a phone call and let them down um, I'm sure they won't mind I'm sure a lot of the places I go at the minute when you turn up in fact a lot of the places I go they're, they're surprised to see me even bother turning up but you know you've got to do something you've got to be making the money and you've got to be trying to keep people you know not people off the list because I can't keep telling us everybody that I'll be with, with them later in the week because by the end of the week I'll have you know 40 jobs to do and it's um, sort of just impossible so I'm going to try and show you something in this video which is going to be um, it's not going to be a lawn well, I've not even got the lawnmower on today I didn't even bother bringing it it's just so wet um, so I was hoping to do to cut some bushes, even do some strimming. There's some long grass, weedy grass that needs strimming. Oh, but yeah, I mean, if you're watching this video, this this video is filmed in August, English August, um, our, our sort of midsummer. You know, really, it should be nice. It should be nice and warm, but it's cold and it's wet and it's blooming miserable. So. I'm trying to get myself motivated and trying to get myself out of the van and try and do something. So all this footage is from the Thursday. The footage from where I was sat in the van, that was the Wednesday and that day was just ridiculous. Heavy, heavy rain, didn't stop all day long. Managed to do one job in the morning and that was it, that was the lot. So I decided to try and cram as much in as I could to this Thursday. I could see on the forecast, Thursday was looking pretty good considering what we'd had the last few days. So I decided to uh, try and cram as much in as I could to the Thursday. Now, on the Thursday morning I have two general maintenance jobs which are a little bit time consuming. But once these two maintenance jobs are out of the way, it was uh, all grass cutting. I think I've spoken to you before about what I try and do when I have a few wet days like this and it is very difficult. I think the best thing for you to try and do is get customers that understand how the game's played. You know, I have most of my customers are very very good. If it's pouring down with rain and it's on their visit they will normally expect to not see me or I might turn up and sort of see how it goes but um, normally my customers are very very good they don't expect me to be out working in the rain you do occasionally get the the odd customer that will as soon as it stops raining phone you and say hey the, the weather's nice and dry now so can you please come and sort us out it is very difficult to do that but um, I would be interested to see how you guys cope with the with the wet weather. I know that you can just go for it and, and work in it anyway, which I have done this week. 
I do find it's pretty soul destroying to be working in the wet and it is also mucky you know a lot of times when you if you're trying to cut lawns it just makes more mess than um, than good so if you can have a, a day like this like I have on this Thursday it's absolutely lovely you know nice and sunny there was a fair breeze in the air as well which um, kept things nice and cool absolutely perfect for working in but as I say you really need the customers to understand um, you know there's a lot of people out there that they're, they're all different you know one one customer will expect you to turn up in the rain and work in the rain and the other customer will be sort of shocked that you turn up and um, I have some customers that if it's raining they just call me in the house and we just sit and have a conversation for half an hour and a coffee and you know just chit chat about the world On this day there was a lot of running around for me. I in fact started started work with the Hater 41. So I've done three jobs with that and then decided to take the Hater home and I swapped it out for my 21 inch Honda, the mulch mower. Uh, days like that you just it's just all go, you know, you you're in, cut this lawn, go. In fact, I was so busy on this day I didn't get a chance to even stop and uh, have a sandwich at any point it really bugged me because I think the uh, the gentleman where I work for at this place was having bacon sandwiches at the time I always remember cutting this grass and uh, smelling a lovely smell of bacon just wafting across the lawn and thinking oh please be for me but unfortunately it wasn't um, but it was just one of those really mad days where you just finish this job on to the next one that was just what it was like So after a few jobs with the Hater, I've been home, I've swapped the Hater for the Honda and I've also gone and picked up Juno for the afternoon. She can come with me for a bit of a bit of an afternoon out. So this weather has really played havoc with the schedule lately. I've had quite a few new one-off hedges to uh, to price lately and I've got most of them that I've priced um, now I have to try and find somewhere for them to fit in to the schedule and that's just been really difficult you know people are waiting for phone calls back to let them know when I can come and do their jobs and this week has just really played havoc with the, with the schedule I've just not had any set time to put aside um, to try and work out when I can go and do these jobs hopefully over the next um, week or so the weather will, will stay nice and I can try and get these uh, people uh, an idea of when I can hopefully come and start their jobs for them. I find on days like these you can sometimes be a bit of a clock watcher you know you want to see what the time is make sure it's not getting too late 
Uh, I find the best thing for me to do when I'm doing jobs like this is to just have podcasts on, on my, in my earphones or just some music on, not have the radio on, not be listening to what time it is. I sometimes find if I listen to the radio, you know, sometimes it gets to a certain time in the afternoon. I think, right, I'm, I'm near enough done. I like to listen to something that, you know, podcast like a, you know, sports podcast or something like that that's just going to um, just let the time sort of fade away. You know, just turn up, just do the job, however long it takes. And it just seems to, for me, an easier way to get through the day rather than listening to the radio tell me that it's four o'clock or now it's five o'clock. You know, um, I like to just listen to podcasts throughout the day and um, it just seems to make it go a lot smoother. So this place is the final place I went to on this day. Couldn't show you everything um, because obviously setting up the camera and trying to record everything takes quite a bit of time. Um, so I, I am in the habit at the minute with the videos, just um, click the camera, which I use as a GoPro. I'll just click the GoPro onto you know, a, a nearby hedge or something like that, film a little bit of me working. And um, yeah, it just seems to not take up too much time when I'm actually you know trying to do a video for you but I'm also trying to work at the same time so I couldn't show you every job I'd been to on this day but hopefully you got um, a bit of a gist of uh, how I was trying to catch up on this week I hope you guys are all trying uh, you know getting through the weeks uh, well we are into August now um, so yeah we, we're Autumn is rapidly approaching, it's very sad to talk about autumn on a lovely day like this, but it is on its way, um, so hopefully the summer will last a few more weeks. done for the day finally finished it's half past five and uh, this was the last one to do so how different two days can be yesterday was uh, here it was pouring down with rain and today it's been lovely if it could be like this every day be uh, spot on so yeah all done ready to get home uh, really tempted to pop next door for a, a beer there's a pub right next door. I'm going to fight the temptation now and just get home and uh, see the family. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Be good, and I will see you next time.